Well, this is the picture in question. And for Christina, it represented her ideal look, a look which she will stop at nothing to achieve. And she joins us now to tell us more. And you would never have thought that on that holiday in Ibiza, it cost you 10 quid to have it done, that it was actually going to be a life-changing decision. No, not at the time. But a lot of things is a lot different back then. So yeah. you think about all them years ago. I like to still say I'm 21, so I don't like to tell so, how many years. But... At, at what moment did you decide, I want to look like that? Straight after having the drawing, really, I kind of thought, this is always what I'd, I found as an attractive woman. It was the uh, Dolly Partons, the shares, the kind of, I guess, big featured women. Yeah. Um, so and at that moment me. when you were sat there and you were having that done, I mean, immediately there was a lot of attention around you and that image. So do you think a bit of that kind of maybe sunk in, you thought, right, to, to look that way gets that sort of attention? Yeah, it was kind of that, but it's kind of what... I've always been a true follower of what I wish to do and what I want to look yeah. like. So I never followed trends, I never followed certain ways of looking. So for me, it probably wasn't that popular as it is now to look like that. Mm. Then. Right. Um, it was a different kind of look then, but I still went down that road. This has all become very modern now where people, everybody has eyelashes, everybody has surgery, and it's more of an accepted thing. That's true. That's it's, true. Um, it's been a slow process. What was the first thing you had done? Yeah, slow process. First thing was that having hair dyed to be blonder, mm. I went down the, I guess, the Playboy bunny route, been this typical dolly bird. And then as the years went on, I've changed and I got my own style. But initially it was dyeing the hair, using the sunbeds. So you were blonde originally? I was you? blonde originally, um, not as blonde. So I went more blonde, I uh, started using fake tans. Start. Obviously, everything has progressed since And all of those things that are reversible, um, yeah. whereas then you made the decision, yes. and actually pretty earlier on, it was 17 when you had your first yeah. boob job, and you went from a D to a 34 uh, a double F, and actually before you'd left the hospital, you were already planning your next surgery. So how come so many back-to-back? -back? What, what made you think, right, I'm not happy with this, I, I want to go further? It was never right for me. Right. It was constantly chasing this dream of something never been right. Perfectly happy. My mental mind is all there. I'm perfectly happy in myself and everything else. And confidence-wise, I've always oozed it. But for me, it was always getting something more and more. Mm. And then as I, as I got fatter, as I got, grew over the years and my weight yo-yoed, when I was fatter, the boobs didn't look that big next to the body. Mm, right. So it was like creating this illusion. And it was constantly chasing that... Well, you, uh, you've worked, as you say, you've worked really hard, done long hours um, to pay for this, and, uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's cost... I mean, the boob jobs alone are £23,600. Um, so you reckon somewhere in the region of £186,000 to do this. But, controversially, you did have a gastric band on the NHS. I did, yes. Um, and you did come in for quite a bit of flack for that. Yeah. Firstly, the, having it on the NHS was what I chose to disclose. I could have known, but I could have said, I've been and I've had it done. With all the surgeries I've had, no one have, would have doubted that I've had it done. I've said I've had it on the NHS. The next thing is that when I've had it done, I've not lied about it. I could have said I've took up this marvellous fitness regime and this miracle diet and make out some big elaborate tale. I hadn't, I had the bypass. Mm. Now, if I had a drink, a drugs, alcohol problem, I went to my GP, they would cater for me. And... Are I, you saying that you have an was, image my, addiction? No, my addiction was food. I had a food addiction. Mm -hmm. So, ultimately, that made me ill health yeah. Everything. I was at the stage, I was 24 stone. And you have to qualify for it through yes. the NHS in order... I mean, they don't just give it no. out to people, as we know. When I get on a plane and my bum won't fit in the seat and I have to have an extender belt, they were the problems that I needed to get on. No, fair with enough. With my reason. Mm. And, you know, constant... I had migraines, prescriptions for them. Yeah, of There's course. numerous things where... The reasons for that. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't feel loads better this 13-stone lighter. I feel, you know, I feel amazing. Of yeah. course. But anybody does when they lose a bit of weight.